late night. Uh, parents at uh, the neighbor's house. I don't know if it's too bright. Mm. Right, let me just try it. I already it's. Okay, you know what? That's a little better. Like, you can't really see my hair. Not much. Alright. Yeah, probably like that. Just make a video with this. I mean, just, just, you know, the thing about, you know, I already talk about repression, suppr suppression, repression, you know, especially when you don't get closure. That's the most important thing, you know, uh, because some things that they aren't really repressed. I had this memory, vivid memory, and it's a great freaking memory. Oh, I love that. It was the summer of 2016. Sounds like a, uh, it'd be funny, if, it'd be great if I remember the, the, uh, the artist's name, you know, the summer of 69. Anyway, so in 2016, you know, and I never really got closure from it. Not just closure, but it was kind of funny. Uh, you know, we went to the Nimic's house. I think I said in the Don Cup video, I believe. So Don Cup shame for that. <laughs> Corny, but whatever. You know, it's like, I just started working at Amtec International, you know. And it was my first month, and, you know, it's like, you know, I know they knew. You know, they knew I was, especially Kwiatkowski, Janusz Kwiatkowski, JK over there, Janusz, you know, just saying his name. I'm just going to call him JK, or just Kwiatkowski. You know, he knew that I was going to, uh, let's say my uncles, you know, my relatives, the Nimics, to help out with lumber uh, to after they got, uh, you know, they, they chopped it up or whatever to put it under their little garage slash hut, I don't know how it, mm, well, it's, it, it means, anyway, like, it, it looked like it was, it looked like a garage, but a little park, a little more there. On the bottom, they had like a enclosure for a lumber for the winter, for the winter that was coming. And I'm pretty sure they knew because they know each other. You know, I just said, and I talked about it. I was, uh, I was there, and like before that, you know, I didn't go to uh, the boss's house, the one, the CEO of of Amtech, and you know, it, I was getting like two hundred, two hundred thirty dollars, over two hundred dollars for Saturday and Sunday. You know, uh, the whole Saturday, like. It wasn't 12 hours, maybe it was like, uh, I'd say, sometimes, once it was, we worked there for 12 hours for one day, but a lot of times it was like 11, maybe 10 hours, something like that. Once in a while it was 12, but it was just, you know, it was labor work, it was dirty, but it was in the mountains, so it was fun, you know, and I made, I made some money on the side, you know. But uh, I didn't go, the mom was like, well, you know, you gotta go, it's family, what are you gonna do, you know, we always go to help out. My mom never goes. <laughs> I mean, you know, she has bad knees, bad legs, and so now what is she gonna do, by the way, right? Physical. Anyway, so we go there, and you know, Janusz Kukowski there called me as soon as I'm walking up to Donna's, and you know, he's like, he starts yelling, hey, see, because he was like excited that he's like, see, he told you weren't there, and you know, and Donna is like, you know, wow, who's that? And then you know, he says like, wow, because he thought he says, and I think it's true, I don't know. He said that later and came out, he thought that was my mom, and you know, he says, Krabi, like, oh, you, you know, you walk, you're going to royalty. I'm like, what are you screaming on the phone? That was one thing, you know. I don't know what time it was. It must have been like eleven or twelve. It was, you know, it was not too too late uh, in the day. And you know, it was me and Don just, you know, stacking it. And who else was there? Uh, you know, the Scroopers were there. Robert Scrooper wasn't there. He never goes. I think he went there like once. They said it. And he came later. And, you know, he was just like trash. He was high as hell. Like he was really fucked up. He couldn't barely walk. He was just like, you know. And I started thinking to myself, wow, he's really burnt. The irony part was like. You know, like seven, eight years ago, you know, he was, you know, he was talking about like, oh, I look at, you know, his dad, like, wow, he's really burnt. And he was just looking at me because I had a mental suppression. I was going through drinking problems, you know. And, you know, I felt like I was evil and creepy and I hurt people, you know. And just like, and, you know, I felt like I was I had a marriage with someone and a kid. And I just didn't know who and no one would talk to me about it. Just, you know, I felt hurt. But, you know, Skarupa over there knew about it. And she, he mentioned about that particular girl. He was like, oh, you know, this, uh, this, this, this girl. And I didn't know her name. And I said, Terry? No, no, who's Terry, bro? No, he said, no, I'm not Terry. You know, you know, that. I was like, I didn't know that. I didn't know her and who she was, you know? That was years ago he mentioned that. And it was just funny to see him all fucked up. I was like, you know, here I am starting a job. I actually felt good. I still, I was still overweight, but, you know, I was working. I was doing my job, this and that, and, you know. And, you know, I just, uh, you know, I was, uh, there was trouble with my girlfriend. Like she was getting stalked, harassed, but, for some reason, it was taking it easy. It was like, you know, very mellow, and it was just the summer. 
and I was feeling good. I just seemed trashed, you know. And you know, it's like he almost just fell down the hill or something. I felt he just he just appeared there out of nowhere. But the thing was, you know, Donna was over there standing, and you know, she just you know, she's like she told me, hey, you know what? If we're gonna be working like this, we're not gonna finish tonight. And she's looking at me with Robert Scarupo over there. I think Stanley, his dad, was there. And he, I think he, I he helped out or something. But you know, it was just late in the day, I believe. And um, before that, you know, I think I don't know if it was that year or the following year. Like Martha Scarupo started act, acting psychotic and stuff. Like she was just like, here, do this, cause we gotta finish, finish this. You know, like they're really psychotic. But it was that. It was that is that phrase that like you know not phrase but like Donna Danko that was looking at me is like we're not gonna finish. I like, what the fuck are you? First of all, and it's like it ain't even that. Like I get it, but it's like you know why don't you tell them to him to just get his ass moving, come over here and help. You know. After a while, the standing group of must have felt kind of weird. Just you know, he came over, he started, oh, okay, da, da, da. And like, what are you doing? This and that, you know, because you know, cause he's an expert on stacking lumber. You know, he's gifted, right? Like, you know, he played Tetris all his life or something, and, you know, he just figured it out, you know. Uh, you know, pretty sure he felt something about, you know, Robert being there, or maybe he just doesn't care, you know. And it was just like, and then, you know, um, uh, the other members of the family, uh, Agnieszka Gurska and her, her husband came in, and they were just over at some friend's house, and, you know, and it was just a weird, weird feeling, you know. I even felt it, but, you know, Agnieszka was like, oh, Oh, poor Huka, she must be so tired. Because it was like, you know, like 8 or 9 o'clock. You know, it, it was nighttime already when she, when they got there. They got I think they got there at the school, but maybe together or something. Because Robert got there, you know, it was, it was dark. He just went to the sea hang out, you know. It, it was from something else, that, that whole evening that was happening. It was very creepy and eerie, but it's like, you know, it's like I got my revenge. It felt weird. I just enjoyed it, you know. And... Uh, the thing was, it's like, yeah, I was working like five days a week, and you know, yeah, I was doing like two trips, two loads with the truck. Cause when I started at Amtec, you know, a lot of th actually a couple times I went with this guy named Stefan. Uh, he was Ukrainian. I went with this other guy first two weeks, but there were some times I went out alone, you know, not all the time, but I went out alone, and I would get like, actually, I would get like 55, 60 hours or something like that a week, you know, my first, you know, months, and it was all right. It's like, yeah, I was. Uh, I, I would go to the prep and I'm thinking, I, I told him, yeah, I get it. Uh, sometimes at 5 in the morning, a lot of times at 6 in the morning. Once in a while it was 5, but a lot of times it was 6 in the morning, and we would prep for like, you know, uh, two, two and a half hours, we would hang out, but we would prep for everybody for the whole day. You know, it was like 12, I don't know, I don't want to exaggerate, but it was close to a dozen pallets sometimes, you know. It wasn't that much, just we would hang out, but you know, it was prepping then. I would go, uh, you know, on the on the trip. Sometimes I had a second trip, and it was like, you know, um, at the end of the week was the busiest, you know. And then I would go a week into the boss's house, and you know, but it's just the way she, oh, poor Luca, she must be so tired. That too, but you know, it's about that. Uh, Tchaikovsky would do that too. You know, it's like you want to say something to Robert, you want to say something to Agnieszka or her husband over there who just came from his friend's house, right? Why don't you say something? Hey, you know, why don't you guys help us out here? And just nice, you guys are over. Hey, why don't you guys, you know? You help us out here a bit. Not just say, hey, Wook, like to me, like, you know, if we don't work, we're not going to, like, what, what are you talking to me for? You know, I came here for like, you know, seven, eight hours. I'm, you know, I'm not busting my ass. I'm running around like a crazy person. Like, you know, like I'm trying to kiss your ass, but I'm here every time you do this. I could have went somewhere for other work. And, you know, you have a grievance towards me when you're really saying it to them, you know, because you're too much of a coward to actually say that to them. Is it because I'm there and you don't want to, you know, get get into their face about that or you just you know you really just don't talk like that because another person Kvyatkovsky you know he would do the same thing to me you know and but he would just like actually to a lot of people like he didn't have the courage or the guts to say it to except you know he would say it to me with like, something that they were doing or not doing I'm like are you, are you fucking ridiculous <laughs> and he was just really good at it not as good as Donna <laughs> so she's not my favorite you know uh Janos there is my favorite. He's just like, you know, he's awesome man. But it just fucking pissed me off to the point where I just I don't even start fucking with it. Oh yeah, well you know, I also did this <laughs> like what that person did. Like I drive it, no, I'm just I'm a helper, right? Just shot the shit but that instead of speaking Ukrainian and shit.
<laughs> saying about everything that other guy did. <laughs> it was probably, uh, probably fucked up and even more. It's like, yeah, you, know, you, you think I'm in? <laughs> I'll be in for like whatever time you play with me. <laughs> you know? But that's one thing. And Metkovsky are there. And Ushak, you know. Oh, the one time they had his palate. And yeah, it was going out to like, you know. I don't know, some place it was like complimentary, you know, and they had these t shirts. And I, I didn't look through them, I just saw like, it was a white t shirt, and just like, you know, it was like, you know, it's a size L, L cut, right? but it's like a small for like, you know, <laughs> little tiny guys. I have some, one relative that probably, you know, be too big for him, it was just like very tiny, you know. It wasn't even that, I just didn't look at it. It was cheaply wrapped to begin with, and the guy comes over, you know, uh, Chris, uh, Chris, uh, I want to say Fasha. <laughs> uh, every time I say Chris, I always think of some other people. But Chishik um, uh, Shalka, he was a CEO, he was a big, fat, bloated guy, you know. He comes always just, he rips it apart, and he's standing right there, like, a, not in the lo like in the, close to the loading, but there is a camera there, you could see it. And he just takes it, you know, shot, the top shot. he's taking it out. I see Jan with his face, he's just like, he doesn't want to say it. he feels some type of way. He's like, why the fuck is he doing that? No, cool with the blah, blah. You know, and he just said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, he walks away, he's like, ooh, come shit. And he's like, no, he's like, what, you think I'm retarded? You, know, you think I'm a fucking mental retard, like I did that? He's like, didn't I tell you, you know, before or yesterday not to touch that? I was like, didn't I fucking tell you yesterday I wasn't going to touch it? And then I told him, who the fuck, who are you talking to? You talking to me or Krzyzek over there? Why don't you fucking bear up and say something to him? He used to do that to me every fucking time. He's like, you're a fucking coward. No, he's training like a little bitch because he's fat. He's gonna run you over, or you're gonna think he's intelligent, or he just he's not gonna talk to you anymore. He's not gonna be a little buddy buddy. But it wasn't just that. There was another guy, Mary Kozlowski. You know, he died. He passed away. He had complications of the liver. You know, I spoke of him because, like, you know, there's people who went to his, to you know his wake and all that stuff. But before that, it's like, and a lot of times he didn't even have the courage to say anything to him either. You know, and it's like you know. Unless, and then later he just like, you know, started like, you know, talking ill about him. And I think he got in his face too. He just started like, you know, having angry fits. You know, Yanush over there. Um, to a lot of people. Another guy, Stefan, the Ukrainian. And, you know, even when I started there, I actually got in Yanush's face. Adam Novak, there was a different man. It was Adam, you know. Uh, yeah, he was like, you know, he, he, he was the manager. And he was going to leave. He said, Yanush is going to take over. You know, and Yanush, you know, he was... In the morning, and you know, we would we would wrap the pallets, and but I told Steph, I was like, yeah, uh, you know, listen, hey man, just you know, top the top off with like two three layers, because the the film they used the uh, the shrink pack was really weak, it was cheap. They had some good ones, like a couple boxes. Adam said it was expensive or something, and he had it for himself or something like that. But they didn't let us use it, so you had to go at least three four times just so the paddle wouldn't sway, the boxes wouldn't fall over, and it wasn't my crazy driving. So you know. It's like, you know, I told him that, and he's like, oh, I don't know, if he's, I don't know if he, like, you know, uh, actually, what was it, Stefan started doing it, or something, but then Janusz came over, and he just started making joke about that, I told him, but didn't you freaking, you know, didn't you tell me, like, a week ago, you're the driver, you gotta tell me, I, I complained about that the, the palace isn't wrapped today, and, like, I had a, you know, the palace would fall over, like, I put on Google, you know, uh, reviews, that image, that was Kozlovsky, Kozlovsky's job, but he didn't wrap it either, you know, but Stefan, you know, it, a, a lot of times, not always, but it will fall, especially with the cans. This time was bottled, but it's like, Janusz came over and started making a joke. And he's like, see, look, 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 he started here and he thinks he knows everything. And he, he looked at his face like he was just like, he didn't want to know what to say. You know, because I started telling, telling him that. And then, you know, I told him that in front of Adam, too. It's like, you know, you, you're trying to be like a boss and shit, you know. It's like, why the fuck is you tell me to reprimand somebody? Never gonna like yell at him, but tell him struck him through properly because you don't want me to complain because you say I'm crying or some shit. And it's like you know, then when I tell him, you come over and you you get in the middle and you know you give Stefan the right of way, like he's like you know he's right, he's like you know oh, he thinks oh, he thinks he's the he's the best or something. Why don't you shut the fuck up and go sit down? Let me do my job. You can't be a manager. You tell me to do be a manager. Then let me do the manager's job. You know it's a Polish phrase, but I'm always just be like. I don't understand it, but it's like a, uh, <laughs> a piece of comida. <laughs> Actually, doesn't make sense. Like the uh, uh, the dog of the the gardener, he won't let you have it, but he won't have it himself. So it's like you don't want to do your job, but you don't want me to do it either. So you want the pilot to be all fucked up, or you just don't care, or you just scared of Stefan, right? You know. And it, it just went on and on. You know, 
to the point where just I didn't give a fuck. You know, and that's when I talked about uh, Giannis over there mismanaged routes and like people were going uh, like f- f- 35, 45 miles back and forth and wasted like, you know two two hours at least. I didn't say anything. I saw that a couple of times. I didn't give a fuck. I waited till it happened. And I wanted to you know hear the scoop. It's Kieran Kozlowski was like, yeah, he made me drive there. You know, it's, he wouldn't talk like that. I think it was just like you know in his seventies. You know, in seven, I think he's pushing seventy. You know, he was age. He said you know. He went for over two decades doing landscaping and stuff. He was a skinny guy, this and that. But I was just like, you know, maybe you should do the route. I'm like, no, 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 I think Yanush is good at it. You know, because one time he wanted to do it. He did it in the morning. But it's like, you know, after a while, he just got uh, Marek uh, Kozlowski's face. I don't know if people found out about that, but it's like, you know, well, you're incompetent, aren't you? You know, but it's like, why are you uh, assigning a blame something that I'm doing when you really want to talk to the other person, you know? There's a couple of people more too. You know, he would do that same thing to me. You know, I, I just got enough of it. One was with the markers. You know, <laughs> and I don't know if it was the mark. Well, actually, there was a couple of things <laughs> with the markers because we would shrink right with a pallet. <laughs> we would take the marker, we would write down uh, like the city or uh, the liquor store. We would write, we had four pallets, so we would, like one, two, three, four on the truck. Like, and you know, obviously you put one, then it'll be, uh, I think it was like, you know, he would take that, it'll be the first one on the truck, you know, then another story how Kozlowski fucked it up, and I just saw it, I was like, nah, fuck it, I'm mad at Yamash, I wanna see what, <laughs> it was just hilarious, you know, cause like, there was another guy that called, that called the manager, and he started calling the manager, I was like, fuck, like, why do you even like that, <laughs> like, that's not good, but alright, <laughs> both of them, actually, you know, uh, Andrew, I think he liked it, <laughs> you know, so yeah, I was just like, I don't know, you called him that, <laughs> And you know, the, you know, the thing with Kozlowski, he was like, you know, was like in his late 60s, and like, you know, I was trying to, like, one time, he, the first time he had like five pallets, so like, well, it's a small choice, it's like 16 foot, but it's very narrow, so one of the pallets, depending on that small and big pallet, you have to put it on the side, on the wall, front, uh, on the wall, and a fourth, and a fifth on the back. You can have it on the back of the truck where you could push it towards them. Like, no, no, I got it. And he got me. Actually, that was one of the things. So I was like, wait a minute, motherfucker. I'm going to have, you know, I'm not going to do anything for you. I told him, I'm not going to help you anymore. It was true. It was like, I'm not going to help you. I mean, what you're, you know, if you're too, too weak and you can't pull the power on the truck, well, all right, I'll, I'll help you with that. But like, other than that, no, you're on your own right now. Because he kept me in out of there. He said, I'm old, I'm old, and this is how I am. You know, and again, maybe you get to an age, just get bitter, this and that. But it's like a lot of stuff. Because, like, there was another young kid, Daniela, like, he just, you know, he just didn't want to, he was so arrogant and, like, fucking, you know, he didn't do it. And it's like, well, I'm not time for you. I don't play with that. But the marker stuff, <laughs> it's like, you know, he put, uh, I, I think he numbered it and he put the fifth palette first and <laughs> then the first palette first. It's like, he's like, well, that's the palette that I'm first <laughs> gonna get the beer from, and I knew it. I was like, I don't, I mean, what, did you mark it? Did you mark it? <laughs> it's just, it just got so aggravated, and, you know. <laughs> and then got divorced of it. You know, he started raging at you. Know? <laughs> and, and he was like, look, look what they're doing. Look what they're doing. So, you know, I was like, wow, wow. Yeah, I don't think he's fit for this or something like that. I just kind of enjoyed it a little bit. Yeah, I'm an asshole, and I feel like I got a big full of <laughs> And, you know, it was just, it was, that was really good. I just kind of got a hard on. <laughs> Man, and literally, but I was like, wow. And I was like, I hope I, you know, I hope I don't think something. So that's what I'm thinking. Like, my review is like, dick. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I was really pissed off, but it's like, I wasn't too angry or anything like that. And, you know, I, I don't know if Kozlowski that couldn't figure it out if he asked me, but I was like, I started, you know, I wanted to see if they were, they were online reading too. Because uh, some people asked for my cell phone number multiple times, and I was like, what do you need that for? What, how, what do you manipulate my mind? Not manipulate, but you read my thoughts, you know? And one of the main things that got me aggravated was because of that, you know? And it's like, uh, it was other stuff with the previous manager. You know, I was really fucking angry, you know? Not just so much of him that he made me buy, you know, uh, uh, an assault rifle, not assault rifle with actual bullets, but that, but it was also with the truck that, you know, a couple months prior, you know, they didn't call Tomlin, you know, and, and just like, you know, I remember that, and just like, you know, it's, it, they treated it lightly, like, you know, I was, I was just a piece of shit.
you know, it's like, what do you do with someone when, like, you know, you're telling me you put, you know, when you mark the pad out, and another thing, Kwiatkowski there didn't explain it very well, you know, I think I told Marek that, like, well, you know, all right, you, which one you want on the truck first or something like that, it's like, he doesn't, he didn't, the way Kwiatkowski would explain, I remember him, he was like, no, get that, that, even in the beginning when I first started working there, you know, they had these parasols, these umbrellas, and they had metal, it would go to the concrete, a square concrete, I mean, they were like, what, 50, 75 pounds, something like that, they were heavy, you know, and I would lift them like that, and yet, eventually, you strain, you strain you back if you put them on a 16-foot truck from the ground, which most people didn't want to do, there's like two people, and like, you know, you, you pan, and then you, you put it, you put it on, which is all right, and then one person gets on the truck, and you like, slides, and then maybe sometimes you even get on the truck, and you help the other guy, it's like, you know, I'm not saying I'm that strong, but it's like, you know, I did a moon job, it's like, yeah, it does hurt your back, even like five, six at once, but then you just, you know, you stretch it, and it's a muscle, and it's fine, but anyway, those slabs with the metal for, for the umbrellas, you know, I think I already talked about it, Novak over there tells me, or, actually, you know, if it was Janos, like, go get those and put it on the pallet, so it's like, I put it on the pallet, but he didn't want those on the pallet over there, I'm like, well, you told me, go get those and put them here, actually, no, he didn't say on the pallet, he said, get that and put it over here, like, he pointed from, like, far away or something like that, it's just, like, his, his method and his speech of explaining something, Janos says this, and JK, it's just, it's so dismal, you know, it's it, it just so inaccurate and just so, uh, so simple. It's like, you know, you got to ask over and over again. <laughs> and I don't know, if, you know, when they were rapping the pot, I was thinking about numbers and this and that because he was reading my mind and some creepy stuff like that. But, you know, Mary couldn't catch on a lot of times. Let's be honest. You know, there was times that, you know, uh, as far as Mary goes, and, you know, he passed away, this and that. But he, before an eggs, not a quarter mile, not like... 20 feet or 10, 15 feet, he took the exit and like those drums for like, I guess they put water or something like these big yellow drums in Jersey uh, on the turnpike or an exit, and he like just swerving, I mean he didn't just, he was a fast driver in the rain, you know, he kept it on the lane, but it's like, but like you, you got 20, 30 feet to the exit, exit, why don't you just, you know, prepare earlier, you know, even a lot of times, you know, the guy just, you know, he didn't understand GPS, you know, like, it, like it, it was that. It, it, I, I didn't get angry. I didn't want to mess with him with that. You know, I, a lot of times I figured out. I was like, all right, well, I mean, you know, maybe it's, now the way I see the world, you know, it's, I get it. You just, you just can't, uh, you know, perceive it, you know. Because he did work uh, landscaping uh, up in North, Jer North Jersey, I think, by Elmwood Park. That's where he used to live. But it's like he knew all the streets for like 10, 20 years already. So it's like he they had a GPS, but... He knew all the different streets, you know, and, and you know, maybe it's certainly maybe he just couldn't grasp it. But, you know, Kwiatkowski that couldn't grasp how to, you know, I don't know, take a picture of an invoice and send it to me, you know. And I, I was furious with him like that because, you know, he was just kissing Adam's ass. He couldn't admit he was wrong until, you know, Adam's looked at him and he just said, well, maybe this and that. But, you know, but it's like that, you know, like, like blaming stuff on me, especially even when there's like three, four people. It's like, how ridiculous are you, you know? Like, I'm not going to play your fucking game. I'm not, I'm not going to be, what are you trying to get me angry? You're so, you're so cowardly, you won't, you won't say anything to him. Because he's your buddy, buddy, huh? Because he'll yell at you. You know, because Stefan would just be like, you just get angry and you're not going to cower down. Once in a while, they did have an argument, but very once in a while, at the end, yeah. You know, and Stefan would throw something and, you know, <laughs> Stefan got punished because, you know, because Stefan was angry that, you know, we had to stay to like, you know, uh, uh, three, uh, three, 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 thirty, and, you know, we had to help clean a pallet when these guys, the other guys came over and just went home, I mean, I get it, but it's like, you know, why you take that out on me, and then the next conversation was, do you have a problem, you and Stefan are going to work, you're both going to work till 6 p.m., 5 p.m., and then, bro, like, two days in a row, we came 5 or 6 p.m., 6 p.m., and like, how ridiculous are you, did I have a problem, you have a problem, I'll tell you what I have a problem, is that, you know, it's like you're letting these guys get away with anything. Your little son going over one, you know, saying anything. And then you blame everything on me. Including a fucking umbrella that's supposed to go to Amsterdam, Alec Bar, Lounge. And then, you know, he put on, I was put on, trust, yeah, I'll deliver. But it took me like a week or two weeks. I didn't go, want to go there specifically. But it wasn't about that. His little son, little jerk off son did the same shit. He's like, oh, what are you blind? You don't see the, you don't see the umbrella and the little Daniela. It's like they're learning from daddy. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that do the same shit. But those fucking Polacks did it a little bit angrier and got me really angry. Because, you know, I'm not that I'm going for something. 
I'm not your little cocksucker fat faggot. I'm not gonna be bitched around, all right? The only person from that job that after this that talked to me is Daniela, and I told him what I need to over and over again. I want to talk to that little bitch Yarek too, you know? It's like, what, you're learning from daddy how to be a coward? Huh? Because your little girlfriend Daniela over there is by your legs and shit. I mean, you guys are, but you can bring a patty, right? You know? So, like, <laughs> I love the, the fun times when, you know, Daniela got yelled at, and I just came from, uh, I came uh, to the job, and I came there, like, it was, I think, eight, and <laughs> I was the day prior, but it's like, they had these, you know, pallets that just, you know, you have to use this big pallets for, uh, they're, they're sending it to a distributor, they say, in California, Hollywood, actually, and they use the big pallet, you know? It was just weird, and it's like, I used a small pallet, I forgot, I just, I, I did it for like, once every couple of months, I'm not gonna remember it, and I think Daniela was like, oh, but I, oh, I don't know, I don't care, and then, he got yelled at in the morning, and, you know, I was coming in the morning, it was 8, I think it was 8 a.m., and I just like a, like a tap on the, you know, the warehouse door with the loading dock, it was a big warehouse door, uh, up when we go, walk up the ramp, I opened, I was what the fuck, and I'm walking, and I, I hear plastic under my feet, it was a stapler, you know? JK over there took a staple and just threw it at the door. And then, you know, he was just like angry at the guy. Like, and I was like, what happened? He didn't say No, 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 no. He didn't say anything. And then Daniela told me, you know, oh, he got, you know, he got, he got mad at me. He's stupid as hell, you know. And, you know, because I, I put, we, we put, I put the small, I put like uh, the cans on, on the small paddle. I was like, well, yeah, yeah, we did that. So what? And then, you know, Daniela was like, you know, he doesn't understand because they everything from him. Clear his job and maybe his phone is. His home, uh, his home or something. He, like, I could take everything from him. The things I know, you know. And then Daniel Kubitschewski started me telling me stuff. And then uh, uh, Andrzej Zielinski, his little friend, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> the one that you know caught feelings with Kozlowski, started me telling me stuff, including made sure I saw when he was uh, loading a, a trailer with a uh, half a pallet of like three or four or two year old beer. And it's like you know then. Uh, Chichik Shock was like, whoa, what are you doing? It's when he saw me. And I don't know if it was fake or not, I don't know if they're stupid or not, but I was like, geez, well, what? what's going on? You know? And it's like, you know, when your little your little friend over there, you know, has an interaction with you, gets angry at you, then you want to, like, what, you know, uh, make him, you know, uh, you want to tell everybody what he's doing illegally, or you want to, you know, get him fired or locked up, or you know what, you want to you take his house or some shit, or his car, his phone, what do you want to do? Why don't you do something to him? Because you got angry at him, Daniela and Andre. You know? You think I want to be at your little birthday party with <laughs> You know? I mean, I don't really, I'm going to mess with you guys like that. You know? I really don't. I'm not into that shit. And I saw it. I was like creeped out. Well, I guess Andre's falling apart with, 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 with the relationship with Janusz. You know? But it's like... It was just so petty and ridiculous. It really was. And same thing with, with Zielinski. He, he would do the same thing. He was, I told you guys, this. I mean, you just get crazy and rowdy. You know, he's like, he's not a manager. He's not a supervisor. He's a warehouse worker. You know, it's like, like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? It's like 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. You're a fucking retard. You're an idiot. I don't want to argue with you. Now, it's enough about micromanagement. You're not the manager. You're not, you're not instructing me. <laughs> and, you know, it's like with Zielinski over there, Andrew Zielinski. Like, he started arguing, he got mad that I came before him. But it came down to something that he was doing wrong. So he's like, who was here longer? And then he started arguing about how him, as a helper, he drove a lot. I was like, well, you're a helper, you didn't drive. You were sitting on your ass, and yeah, you did work. Well, let's, let's, you want to add up hours? Like, what do you want to measure our dicks in inches now, or centimeters? And you want to argue about that, which is about the length? Like, you're doing something where you don't know how to, uh, which I don't think you should, ex uh, you know, erase, uh, you know, uh, expiration dates from caps to begin with, but you don't even know how to do that. It takes you, like, 10, 15 minutes for nine kegs, and it only took me, like, under a minute or so for nine all of them, you know? And he just got angry because of that and stuff, and a lot of other stuff, you know, to the point where I just, you know, I told him, you know, uh, go with the other, I made a joke, but I was like, you know, he, he knows what to count, because Andrew over there, he would just be in every inch, he would know everything with everything, you know? And, you know, I think I made a joke about he knows what's going on in that side of the warehouse, this, this, and that, you know? But I, just, I had no time for that, you know? And, but it's like, you know, you see something about someone else is doing, well, you know, go up there and tell him and talk to him if you don't like it. Don't blame it on me, especially when you, you know, I'm around them, like, I told you guys, and you're looking at me or something. 
Like, I wasn't even here, and if I did, I don't give a fuck. You know, I do my, I'm the guy that does this job. You have a problem, write me up, talk to me personally. Now when you're little friends and you play this little game, like, oh, we try to get me angry or just too scared to, you know, go up to them and say what they really are. Now, and later, you know, before Jelinski got fired, uh, I don't know if it's true or not, who cares, but, <laughs> you know, he just said something to Danielik and uh, uh, Iyarek, uh, you know, Inusha's son. You know, he, he said he, he told them that they were just doing his shit, this and that, and Yarek over there took a garbage can just threw it on the floor in anger. You know, because he, he, he got yelled at or, you know, he was just, they would just sit on the phone and just play on the phone or just talk all day and this and that. I said, well, we prepped this and that, and they were just sitting there. I could care less. I thought that was kind of funny too. <laughs> if it did happen, it did happen. I don't think you know. I don't think there. You know, uh, Yanusha's son should have even worked there. You know, he just he he was inefficient. He was lazy. He was a crybaby, and he didn't do anything in the warehouse. You know, those people that cried about sweeping, they just walk with the broom. You know, it's like, and they got and they just you know, that was like the, when Mario Riz when the first time he did that. <clears throat> I don't know. I think I don't know if he said or something to me after months not talking to me. He said, "Oh, my back hurts." Ooh, your back hurts from like what? Standing up and going like this? Like, well, what, what the fuck are you doing? Take care of your kidneys. You know, your little friend over there has kidney problems too. Like, what did you do in your life that you, you have, uh, you know, your kidneys are hurting you that badly? You know? And it's so, again, yeah, I gotta hear stories about people crying about driving uh, an hour and a half, is it? Something like that. One way to deliver like a, a truck full of beer, sometimes not even full. You know, because it's long, <laughs> hour and a half, and you say, you know, uh, he used to drive for this company uh, distributing cars. Maybe he just got tired. Maybe he just, you know, I don't know. You know, like, well, what is your problem? What are, you, what are you so scared of, you know? Not scared of, what are you so terrified? And, you know, three one, three hours one way, three and a half hours one way, and then, you know, two hours, this and that, like a 10, 12-hour day, you, just, you will never go, right? Even three hours one way, like, you don't want to go. I just got put point where I was aggravated. But you know what? Then, you know, start happening. It's like, I got blamed for places that I haven't been there, I think. They said, well, you know, you, you signed the invoice. I came to one, one side, I kept coughing. He's like, sign the invoice. I'm like, I wasn't there. I was there there. Then who's there? I was like, here, I signed it. I don't know if I signed Mario's original name, MR. Or if I signed my name. She's so like, what the fuck do you want me to do? Bro? And it wasn't signed. Actually, no. It wasn't signed. It was putting your initials. People just wouldn't put initials. Like, oh, maybe he forgot. Really? Or is there something else going on? You know? Because you want to put me on the spot. You want to say, I went somewhere. Either something got stolen or something happened. Or you're doing something with the invoices. And even when I got the invoices to go, it was like two weeks uh, ahead of schedule or something. It was different with the dates and then coincide with the invoice number. And you erase and stuff. I mean, you know, it's like, well, I'm supposed to get angry over that? Yeah, I put, I put your, your MR over there. Like, what the fuck do you want to do? I write uh, my initials on every invoice. You know, I don't have to double check when I go in the warehouse. And I don't have to double check when I prep either, you know. I'm not going to be blamed for what your little boyfriend, your little girlfriend, your little Mario over there, you know, mishandles or whatever it is you're doing. You know, so you have a problem with me about putting pictures of how illegitimate and how gross and, you know, inefficient you are on Google. Charge me. <laughs> Annoying and harassing and trolling. <laughs> trolling on Google. <laughs> New charge. He's right though, but you know, he makes fun of us, so we're gonna handcuff him <laughs> and billy club him, right? I mean, like, how much of a coward are you? Seriously. You know, you wanna see, you see something you don't like, why don't you put, hey, you do this, why are you doing this and that? You know, there's a couple of things. People came in there and just, you know, they couldn't work for four or five hours, even though, like, Three, four hours, they were sitting on truck. I get it. It's boring. It is boring. But you know what? We got 120 cases to deliver. Yeah, it'll take us six to eight hours. Even if you had three, four hundred cases, it'll take you two, three hours. You still wouldn't go. Or you still cry that you're hurting. Right? And then I tell Yanusha go over there. You know, if you, you want to get people, I don't know, make them pick up something heavy. You hire a guy that's 65, 67 years old. Not mine. He was, he, he would do it too. He was hurting. But guys that's pushing 70 and stuff. And he just, you know, he just doesn't, he doesn't, he has no physical ability. And then you hire a young prick over there that, you know, uh, plays chicken on the road and you're just a total fucking buffoon. But you blame for me. You blame me for everything, right? Including, like, I'm not even angry. I just thought it was ridiculous. Even things I didn't even, like, doing, other people were doing and they just, you know, they would just talk about me. I'm like, I know you're talking about him. 
Like, how fucking ridiculous are you? And then you're gonna, like, charge me for, like, annoying and harassing you? I yelled at you like a fucking bitch that you are, Belata. You're a fucking cunt. Go fuck yourself. Fucking idiot. Oh, yeah, I raised that fucking idiot. Like, you wouldn't believe before I got fired. I took every little fucking angle that fucking whore. I went to spin in her face. She went up to the fucking little motel road fucking, you know, uh, uh, office over there. Like, go fuck yourself, you stupid bitch. You know, you know I say hi to you, ignore me for like two years, and like, you know, then you're like, why are you? What is going on here? Shut the fuck up and go and undelete shit. And, and vacuum your own fucking room. I'm not your fucking slave or your fucking, you know, maintenance guy, fucking idiot. And you know what? It's not, it's not, I don't care. I don't care if she sleeps with her uncle either. I shouldn't have known that. Maybe I don't give a fuck. Maybe someone like me got in trouble later because he told them a thing or two. How arrogant and fucking pieces of shit they are. At least I don't fuck my ends. You know, I don't believe in incest. No many, any time, many times you spread a lie, it doesn't make it true. I think that's an Adolf Hitler uh, uh, quote. Yeah, who's playing the Gestapo Nazi game? I don't do that shit. I make sure I'm 100% at least close to him, right? And even then, be like, well, I kind of get it. I heard it, but I'm not going to, you know, babble about shit. Yeah, so keep repeating whatever you fucking want of me. And you probably tell talk about, oh, see, Wukash didn't do this and this is that. Yeah. See you in fucking court with some of your friends and, you know, and you still laugh and you're writing a fucking, you know, uh, a forklift uh, during court. Who's a fucking clown, huh? Who is Payasin? Postuka Shipogovia. Including my Aunt Donna over there. Whoa! You guys are fucking an embarrassment to humanity. Seriously, if ET lands here, maybe he's just a fucking retard like all of you. <laughs> or maybe he doesn't have any lips because he, he learned how to keep his mouth shut for a thousand years. For a fucking. Next me, people like me, put him in fucking place. Fucking thinking numbers and bionic bionic codes or some shit. You can't even fucking think how to, you know, I don't know, just sweep the fucking floor and just keep your mouth shut and, you know, go home and not shit your pants. You know, you don't have a concept to come outside in my ring and I put a, a jacket, a coat, and you label me a buffoon because I did. Or it's about something else, Yamush. Bring your little, uh, uh, juvenile, overweight people that, you know, they don't even know how to drive and they have to look, oh, I'm going 27, 20, oh, I gotta slow down to 25. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I mean, even idiot cops don't even drive like that, but some of them actually do. I wonder if they blame, if I'll be like, you know, I don't know, security guard with a cop or like FBI just blame shit I mean because the shit he did in another state. Because, you know, I'm part of your little team, a club, right? So you blame shit on me. So I don't want to work with none of people. It's like, you know, yeah, you're like a bunch of cowards and you just you play this blame game because you're scared of Robush over there or fucking, I don't know, uh, uh, Danielek.